It's not often that you get to come to a park and go underground in a mine that used to be an operational mine. Black Diamond Mines Regional Preserve is definitely one of the Bay Area's hidden gems because it's something that most people haven't seen before. Being a coal miner here was definitely a, a difficult job and a labor-intensive job. When you come in and see the rails on the ground, the carts, the shifter's office, everything that you see here is of the time period. This is definitely like taking a step back in time, getting to experience what someone almost 100 years ago would have experienced. And learn a little bit about the mining history of California and the Bay Area absolutely the definition of living history. This area is called Black Diamond Mines Regional Preserve. It's named for the valuable rock that came out of this hillside, which is coal. And so coal is black in color and valuable, such as a diamond is valuable. So that's where the nickname Black Diamond comes from. So in the Mount Diablo coal fields, there were five towns. The one that is in the park today that we see and walk through is the former town site of Summersville. There were multiple buildings here. There was schools, there were homes, a general store. While there are no buildings left from the old Summersville, there are giant waste rock piles. So these are all of the rocks that came out of the mine during the coal mining era. So this pile behind me is probably about 150 years old. Coal mining here started in kind of the uh, 1850s or 1860s or so and lasted until about early 1900s. This was the largest coal mine in California at the time. We're here to protect the natural and cultural resources of this area and share it with people and educate them as well. Open their eyes to something that they maybe didn't know about before. As you come on one of our mine tours, you'll pass by this section here where there is a coal vein. You'll be able to see a little bit of this black kind of shiny rock here. That's the coal. So we're standing in the coal mine experience here underground. We've recreated that kind of feeling of being in a coal mine. People as young as eight years old started working the mines, usually as the knobber, and their job was to push coal down the chute, and then as you got older, you might work as a miner. So the spacing we have here is only two to three feet tall, because that's how the coal naturally occurs. So you're mining in a really small, dark space. You're mining by candlelight. Black Diamond Mines has a lot of the coal mining history, but we also talk a lot about the sand mining history. What we're standing in right now is a Hazel Atlas sand mine. In the 1920s, Marvin Greathouse started mining sand here for use in glass making. So anything from a Heinz bottle to salt and pepper shakers. The sand here is a high quality silica sand that is not found in common beach sand in the Bay Area. So we're standing here in a haulage way of the sand mine and the area that we're standing in over 50 million years ago would have been all underwater. So where we're standing today would have been the bottom of the ocean. What do we find at the bottom of the ocean? Sand. So one thing we'll see here is some fossils that you can actually still see and touch in the walls. These outlines here are 50 million year old ghost shrimp burrows. We can look up into some of these rooms called stopes that are these huge, large areas that they would have dynamited the sand out of to bring it out for glass making. You're not only learning about the history of sand mining in this era, but also getting to experience what it might have been like to be in a mine during sand mining here. Black Diamond Mines Regional Preserve. This is a very unique park. Even if we've done the tour a hundred times with folks, and they're really excited to experience this and just kind of that the awe that they have on the look on their face when they walk in. One of the exciting things about this place is we're always learning more and unearthing more history and sharing that with the public. I think that's a really exciting thing that, that we get to do here.